I have watched AEW Revolution, so you don't have to. Actually, this is not the case. Probably you have already watched AEW Revolution. What am I even talking about? But it's really interesting to watch a pay-per-view when you haven't watched any part of the product anytime soon. You know what I'm talking about? Like, all the matches don't make any sense. All the feuds don't make any sense. The title changes don't make any sense. But I'm going to talk about everything here except the Sting's final match. I can talk about that in a separate video. I'm not going to go through all the matches in the pay-per-view event. I'm going to talk about the things that just struck me when I was watching AW Revolution. First off, it's cool to see that almost all of the champions are the same ones since the last time. So basically, there was like two months where no champions were changed except the tag team titles. So that is a little bit better than just going back and all the champions are changed. But the first thing that um, struck me was the six man eliminator, not eliminator, not normal, but normal match, who is basically determining the next contender for the AEW championship. And I don't know what it was happening, but I was expecting for the past two months, Warlow to turn on Adam Cole, or the plan is different, the plan is for Warlow to turn on Adam Cole whenever he wins the title. But the question is, is Warlow gonna win the title from Samoa Joe? Is, this is really the question we're asking here, in my opinion. In that contenders match, Warlow, with or without the Undisputed Kingdom, looked like the only option to win that match. Another thing that struck me a little bit was the AEW Championship match that was between Samoa Joe, Hangman Adam Page and Swerve Strickland. And the whole time I was like, wasn't Swerve Strickland and Hangman Adam Page were fighting for months now, probably even a year, and they're still fighting with Samoa Joe there? Like, it was so obvious that when these two are in the match, Samoa Joe is just gonna win just because they both will fight each other and after that Samojo will pick up the scraps and win. Am I the only one? Another thing that struck me was Orange Cassidy was still the champion when I started watching the pay-per-view and at the end of the pay-per-view Roderick Strong picked the title? Are you sure about that? Like, I don't know anything more particular with Roderick Strong except his NXT days, but he's not as good as Orange Cassidy, my man. And the thing that bothers me is that if Roderick Strong picks that title, then Undisputed Kingdom probably is gonna have all the titles at some point. Why? They're not that good. I mean, Adam Cole is not even active yet. Also, Kyle O'Reilly came back and Initially, he wanted to attack Roderick Strong in Undisputed Kingdom, but after that, they hugged it out, and after that, he didn't accept being in the Undisputed Kingdom, and all the happy. Also, we can talk about the fact that Tony Storm is still the champ, and she absolutely should not be the champ. Like, Tony Storm is the biggest snooze fest ever. Like, ever. We had a match against a couple of nobodies, like Will Ospreay and the other guy who I don't even know his name. And we were having some sort of a circus act there. Move after move, move after move, move after move, no selling. I didn't... Look, I was not skipping the match and basically the whole match was like it was going on the double speed. Maybe for some people it's good. I'm just, I just cannot look at anything else if I want to catch the match, and that's okay. If you don't look, want me to look at something, just go do it. No worries. Break your body with, without people noticing even. No worries. Do you guys know that Eddie Kingston is still the champ? Which is scary. Like, Daniel Bryan is saying Eddie Kingston is a bum. 
And now we are having Daniel Bryan versus Eddie Kingston. And Daniel Bryan cannot beat Eddie Kingston. Whenever Daniel Bryan was his first match at that whole tournament, and he was beating him easily and clean, now he cannot. What the hell is going on? Why the titles are on Kingston? He cannot cut a promo. He cannot do anything. I'm probably better than him. And I have never done anything wrestling related. Except a video. Yeah, sorry. This is my little rant. Uh, I'm going to continue watching AEW. I'm going to watch the Dynamite that is out. I'm going to watch the Rampage. I'm going to watch the Collision. I really want to see what is actually happening between Edge and Christian. And uh, yeah, I want to see what is happening. I'm going to give it a shot for a couple of months. I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. But holy moly, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm going to see you next time. Peace.